The countdown is on to Broadway's biggest night and the theater world is still buzzing this morning with news of this year's Tony nominations. Here with all the inside scoop is our friend Julie James from Sirius XM's On Broadway channel. Welcome back. Good to see you. So good to see you, Sarah. Happy Tony time. Happy Tony time. Let's <laughs> kick it off with one of the leaders of the pack, A Strange Loop. Yes. Total of 11 nominations. Tell me about this show. Yeah, it's so different. It's so now, so today. It was a critical darling in its off-Broadway run, now on Broadway, one of only 10 musicals of all time to win the Pulitzer Prize. Wow. So let's see if it joins like Rent and Hamilton as a Tony winner as well. Yeah, another uh, best musical contender that's very much of the moment is Six. Yes. We the, see the ads. These, uh, this, these two shows are like the musical theater of today. If yeah. your lane is a little more Beyonce and Ariana Grande, then this is for this you. This is the show for you, and it's total girl power, pop pop power. It is packed. It is joyful. I love it so much. I want to see that one really yeah, bad. Yeah, love it. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's an interesting Broadway season because some of the shows that are nominated have already completed their runs. Obviously, things have been kind of wonky the last couple years with the Tonys and yeah. with Broadway. So what's the, land, uh, the landscape right now? It was an unusual time because we still had shows that were waiting their turn from before the shutdown yeah. that hadn't been acknowledged. Then Broadway came roaring back last fall with, uh, you know, just packed, packed, packed with shows. So it made the Tonys really exciting for the nominations because yeah. there was so much to choose from. Not everybody could get an acknowledgement. Right. There was so much going on. Yeah. And, and one of the exciting categories this year is choreography. I mean, one of them being oh my with gosh. MJ, right? MJ. Which is another show I cannot wait to see. Up for a best musical as well. The choreography in that show, the dancing, uh, Christopher Wilden is known for his choreography, but he's also up for best director. It is such a wow. You haven't seen dancing like this in so long yeah. on Broadway. It is so energizing. The crowd is going wild, and Miles Frost, who's also nominated, is an unbelievable I mean, dancer. It is singer. not easy to dance like Michael Jackson. No. So that is a that's a. It was really I don't even, thrilling. It was very challenging. <laughs> yeah, it was very thrilling. Um, and some history being made by Camille A. Brown. Um, and for her show t uh, for colored girls right so Camille a Brown is nominated as best director and choreographer even though it's a play it's a choreo poem so it has music uh -huh. it has movement it's so powerful so moving an incredible ensemble cast and there hasn't been a woman on Broadway to direct and choreograph in nearly 65 years Wow yeah uh, and there's another historical moment uh, L Morgan Lee scoring a nom for best featured actress in a musical for a strange loop. For a strange loop, the first openly trans actor to receive a Tony nomination. During the shutdown, there was a call for more equality, diversity, and yeah. representation on Broadway. And I think in this season, you you see the strides being made. There's more representation going on in the stories that are being told, in the creators that are creating it, and in the actors that are on stage. And and was. Uh, L. Morgan Lee involved in Carolina Change? Oh, no, but we must mention the incredible Sharon D. Clark, who I know you've had on the show. Yes, yes, She's yes. She's nominated for uh, Carolina Change, the revival, and is also expected back on Broadway next season in Death of a Salesman. So, but she's one of those real leading contenders for Best Actress in a Musical. Oh, wow. And there are tons of star power on stage this season, starting with some huge leading men. Yes. You've got Hugh Jackman. You've got Billy Crystal. Jesse Tyler Ferguson. There are, are so many incredible men uh, just blowing up the star power. Sam Rockwell. They're all nominated um, in plays and musicals. So if you like your star power on Broadway, yeah. you got it. Now is the time. And yeah. some, some leading ladies, too. Mary Louise Parker, Rachel Dratch. Rachel Dratch is hilarious in this new play called POTUS. Mary Louise Parker in How I Learned to Drive. Patti Lapone in this uh, Stephen Sondheim classic that is, um, you know, it's like is company, Stephen yeah. Sondheim, but with maybe a Sex in the City twist. Oh, I love that. And she's that. incredible. Already won the Olivier for the same role. So will she pull the Tony? Will she or will she not? Yeah. We are going to find out with you, Julie. For more of the best of Broadway and all your favorite show tunes, head to the On Broadway channel on Sirius XM and be sure to follow Julie at Julie underscore James. Thanks so Great much. Great to, to see you, Sarah. Happy Tonys. <laughs>